let's go to rosaceae okay many remedies in rosaceae family many many remedies and interestingly almost every remedy almost but a large number of remedies from rosaceae have a very very important action on heart and none bigger than the biggest homeopathic cardiac remedy that you know and there are so many cases of this remedy the remedy that i wanted to learn crataegus crataegus half thorn berry crataegus was introduced by dr green of ireland and it was initially used in many many old men and women with many cardiac issues typically heart failures and in in cases where the allopathic doctors couldn't do anything or suggested surgery with help of crataegus many doctors including dr green including another another of my favorite authors there's one more of my favorite author his name is copperthwaite is also very interesting uh, materia medica copperthwaite's pathological materia medica copperthwaite dr srishti you can write this on the webinar chat so our colleagues will know copper thwaites materia medica he also used this remedy a lot crataegus and with help of crataegus they saved many people's heart and that's why in many many cardiac cases they say that crataegus is the closest heart tonic in homeopathy that we have so if you are treating a case of an old man or women and you are confused the first remedy that should strike you is crataegus in general but crataegus as a materia medica there is no specific in homeopathy but there are remedies which has a good action on particular pathology particular organs so let's understand the patterns of crataegus i have put together for you a whole pattern of materia medica of crataegus <clears throat> how does crataegus go into this state it's the history of trauma it's the history of a lot of stress from outside giving them an experience of lot of suffocation restriction feeling trapped feeling because they have many emotions they have lot of cares you know crataegus is there in the rubric cares full of others about too much of sympathy too much of compassion for others and they may look like cocculus or causticum but they have in their life they feel totally suffocated restricted and that is when they start gradually developing the stage or the pathology of crataegus disease what is the crataegus pathology they start developing a lot of very high cholesterol high lipids high high triglycerides they start developing calcareous deposits crustaceous deposit in the heart in the aorta in the arteries they start developing gradually blocks they develop scars and that's why it's a very important remedy in cardiac cases when there is a hardened artery when there is high cholesterol high lipid and the heart is becoming gradually degenerative pathology is coming in so along with calcarea floricum crataegus becomes a very important remedy very interesting indication i want to tell you normally a very important indication is of baryta muriaticum baryta mur right has a very interesting symptom where the systolic bp is very high and diastolic is very low so let's say the systolic is 200 and diastolic is let's say 60 so there is a lot of gap between the systolic and diastolic in crataegus in the hypertension there is something opposite there is a increased diastolic and low systolic which means the bp could be 120 by 100 this is typical for crataegus so interesting know the clinical materia medica hello and there are some concomitants that i want to tell you <clears throat> what are the concomitants one is they are very chilly crataegus can be very very chilly they sweat a lot remember 
in the symptom diabetes in children it's the single remedy crategus just for your information they have a lot of dyspnea with this heart problems and they always have insomnia crategus with the heart problem will always 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 have insomnia remember in boric he writes insomnia of aortic sufferers insufficiency and finally this is a very important remedy even after cardiac surgery so if the cardiac surgery has been done there are scars remaining it's a very important tissue remedy that can dissolve the scar like like thiocyanaminum like graphitis like silica so you have to study materia medica along with other remedies this is clinical materia medica lane gentlemen you could use this remedy yes in mother tincture but if you get all these indications you can also use it in low potency 6 potency 30 potency try to get the materia medica so that this could actually be a deeper indicated remedy so i am trying to show you individualized patterns of remedies even lesser known remedies 